In this video, we're going to round out chapter 1 by looking at pages 28 and 29. Where we left off, we hadn't yet implemented the take turn method. And so that's the last thing we're going to need to do to make our beetle game play. As you recall, take turn returns a boolean, and as parameters, it takes in the current player, an integer, and it takes in an object of type beetle, which we will call bug. Take a turn for the given player. Return true if the player earned a bonus turn. In beetle, you earn a bonus turn if you successfully add a part to your beetle. So what that means is if you were very, very lucky, you could conceivably build your entire beetle on your first play. So I will leave it as an exercise to you to figure out exactly what the odds are of successfully building your beetle on your first turn. Um, the first person to drop me a note with that receives a prize, and you have to explain your solution. So the first thing we do in the take turn is we print out that, uh, whose turn it is. And the second line is we print out the current, vi uh, current representation of the beetle. And the question is, why does system.out.println taking only the bug as a parameter, why does that work? So that's one for you to go off and do. And here's another one for you to go off and think about. Input.nextline. Where does the next line method come from? Right? Input is clearly an object. Now you may remember we declared that as a static final object of this class. Um, a static final field, I should say, which was a scanner object. So where does next line come from? Again, a question that I'm going to suggest you go off and research. And we won't leave that comment there, it's just there to reinforce the narration. So when we're playing, first we read in a line, so you have to hit return, you read it in, we do a die roll, and then we can ask what the top face of the die is and print that out. Remember, the top face only changes when we roll the die. So we can now use top, uh, die dot top, uh, get top face in our switch statement. Now, switch statement has a particular syntax, and that's what we're seeing here. So if, if die dot get top face is one, then we're going to print out that we got a body, and we're going to return the result of adding a body to the bug. Now, you may recall, that if you can add the body, it returns true. And so there, we find we then re end up returning that value. Now what you see me doing here um, is I'm lazy, and I'm not going to type all of this out, so I've simply copy and pasted the first case, and now I'm going to go through and edit all six of those cases. That causes a problem for me. I make an, act I make an error because of this, and we'll see that in just a moment. So by returning the result of adding the body part, if we can add the body part, the result, the return value for take turn is the result of adding the body part. So I'm belaboring that a bit. Hopefully, maybe that's not clear. You and your programming partner should think about it. Now here's where I made the mistake. I had case one, two, three, four, five, and six. I wasn't reading the book very closely, so I made a mistake. Here I try and get my my brackets to line up better. Blue Jay is not being cooperative with me. Um, and so I even go so far as to make a comment to that effect, uh, which is that Blue Jay is making a hash of my indentation right now. Hmm. Mm, you can see class interface or enum expected. And if we look there, you can see I've got a few too many brackets. That's a common error if you have too many brackets, because BlueJ thinks there should be another class definition. And this error is not a bracketing error. Even though it highlighted the last bracket, it's because I put return statements under all of the cases. But the Java compiler can so the Java compiler can tell that it's possible that we might have some other case, right? It's possible that get top face could return seven. 
So if it returns 7, we'd go through the entire switch statement and never return anything. That's a problem. So if we look at the code that Peter wrote in his book, he actually wrote default, which is the else, if you will, of a switch statement. Now, because I have an else, the compiler is happy and sees that there's a return in every possible case. So we can actually play the Beetle game. Does everything right? Well, I hit return, I did a roll, and didn't. I got a feeler. No, all right. Player two gets an I, can't start there. Player one, player two, player one, two. Hey, player one got a beetle. Player two got a beetle. Ooh, this is pretty exciting. Oh, player one got, player two got a head. Oh, player one got a feeler. Looks like player two has a feeler. And, oh, player one has some legs. Player two is behind at this time. Looks like player one is in the lead, has two eyes, a head, feelers, legs. Player two is also caught up now. And as we rapidly keep hitting return, that's what I'm doing here. It's really quite exciting. Who will win? Who will win? It looks like player one is in the lead. Oh, player one and player two are tied. <gasps> player two wins by a leg. It's very exciting. It's very, very exciting. And so that's the Beetle game.